What's up everybody? Uh, just kind of gonna give a quick little update. Uh, Cody and Larry, and they took our buddy Terrence over to the hills the other day. Um, he had never killed a turkey, so they were gonna try to get him on one. And they kind of semi-struck out. I mean, they heard a couple birds gobbling, but none of them were close. None of them really wanted to work. Um, and they were far away. But, uh, I mean, it's still a good sign. One of them, I think they heard gobbling at like around nine-ish in the morning, which is pretty good, which means he's gobbling on the ground. Um, he may have still been hand up, but it's it's still a good sign. And we're planning on going over there. Today's Saturday, and uh, they're planning on go we're still planning on going over there tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we got church service at 11. And uh, when church is over, we're gonna head over there and try to roost some birds for Monday morning because it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good morning. But um, right now, me and Cody are about to head up on the river right here where we live. Um, it's been flooded from the Mississippi and uh, it's went down just enough that they opened up the conservation area and I think we can get back there. And there's a really good chance because a lot of them fields and woods are usually dry before the roads are cleared. So there's a good chance there's some turkeys out there. So, and uh, here in Missouri, you know, season closes at one o'clock, so we can't hunt. Um, it's five o'clock right now, but we're gonna drive up here, try to scout a little bit, check some, these, check some of these fields, and hopefully roost a bird or two for tomorrow morning. But either way, even if we don't, we're gonna get up and head up there in the morning, and uh, it should be pretty decent in the morning too. So uh, we'll check it out, and we'll meet back up with you here in a little while, I'll let you know what, what went on. Hey y'all, uh, me and Cody was walking back here to this spot we was talking about. But uh, after I talked to y'all last, one of my buddies seen my truck and he called me. And he told me, he's like, hey, if I you, I'd go up there and scout that public land up here, you know, where we always hunt. And I was like, that's actually where we're headed to right now. And he said, uh, I ran into some guy that told me that he hunted up there this morning. And he shot one and he heard about eight gobblers. So that's a good sign. I'm hoping we get back here. It'd be nice to roost a couple for in the morning, but even if we don't roost them, I'm still feeling good. Tomorrow's supposed to be a real good day. Only bad thing is it's supposed to be a little windy. I think like 11 mile an hour winds, somewhere in there. And that ain't great, because it'll be kind of tough to hear them. But hey, we finally got things looking up for us, which I've not even hunted yet. This is my first time getting out, but Cody's been hunting hard. They've all been hunting hard and haven't had any luck. And uh, Lord willing, we'll lace a couple long beards down here in the morning. But I'll catch up with you when we get to this field back here and let you know kind of if we find any sign or if we see any turkeys. Hey, slide boy. Well, we didn't really have a ton of luck. But uh, as you can see, this is a pretty looking green open field that the water's been over. And this is about the driest one that we've seen. It's not very muddy. And we've really seen the most tracks in it too. So, and quite a bit of poop. So I'm hoping, I think we're gonna set up here in the morning, probably somewhere right over in there on the edge. And it's gonna be kind of hard to hear them. As I done said, the wind's supposed to be blowing. But I think that's our best bet anyways. So. We didn't get to roost any, but we seen a decent sign, and the best thing is we get to hunt on our own public ground property finally, and uh, I'm excited about it. So I guess you'll you'll see us in the morning, excited and raring to go. We'll see you then, everybody. It's the next morning, picking up Mister. Mr. Cody, I don't know if you can see him or not. He's over there getting his boots on. Pretty dark outside. But we're getting out here after a little bit early to this morning. I'm going to try to beat everybody else here. It's 424 right now. And we got about a, I don't know, probably a 30 minute walk back there. Maybe a little longer. Uh, we kind of have to go out of our way to get to where we want to get. But it's the best to be quiet and get set up. But Anyways, we're about to get after it. We'll see you when we pull into the spot. All right, me 
and Cody just got here. Uh, we beat everybody. There was a truck went by, but um, he just kept on going. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and ease on out here and get set up. And uh, I'll kind of fill you in when we get there and exactly where we set up. Um, we walked right by it yesterday, so hope it pays off for us today. What you think? I hope so. It better. We walked about four miles, and I got blisters all over my feet. It better pay off. Oh yeah, let's say a quick prayer. That's, I've been trying to say a prayer before we go, cause can't do nothing without the good Lord. But uh, Lord God, I pray that your blessings be upon us this morning. But first of all, I pray you keep us safe. Don't let us have to uh, worry about anybody coming in on us, or let's not go in on nobody. Keep us safe. Keep your hand on us. Most of all, we thank you for being out here. It's another day in the turkey woods, and I give you praise and glorify your name let us have some success this morning in jesus name let's get it let's get out here and get a list of turkey That's close. Huh? Yeah. Hey, if they'll ever just see these decoys, I think they'll come in. <laughs> yeah, you see him? Yeah, he's coming. Just one. Dude, but if we can kill him real quick, we can ease down there. There's one just gobbled right here. Can you see him? He's almost straight in front of us. Just a tad to the right. He's walking to, to the left. He's over on the edge. Huh? Almost.
almost, yeah. He's straight in front of you. Just a tad to the right. You don't see him walking? He's running, he's kind of running at us. Yeah. I hope he don't hang up. It looks like he's gonna come in. Are you filming him? Because if he comes in, I'm going to zoom out so I can get ready. He's coming this way. Just looking at it, I'd say it's probably about 125 yards or so, roughly. And he stayed on that other edge. I don't know if it was because I had the Jake decoy out that he might have got scared of it or what the problem was, but he didn't want no part of it. Uh, he acted like he was gonna try to strut once or twice, and he was like he, he'd let up and then he'd let back down. So I think he might have been a little scared. Must have been an insubordinate bird, but I mean, how do you know that, you know? We still gotta set up the way we're gonna set up, but we kinda, or, I'm sorry about this shaky video, but I'm carrying this tripod as we're walking. But we're easing around, there's a couple more fields that we're checking. I think these birds are in the woods though, but now that the sun has popped out good, there's a pretty decent chance they're back out in this field that we were hunting originally. So we're kind of making our way back to it. And uh, we're gonna see what, if anything's out here, if we can strike anything up. They hadn't gobbled really since they hit the ground. They, maybe a few times, but uh, not, not much. But I'll let you know if anything else changes.